Live now to Paris, we're going to talk on the news out to Basma Kodmani. She's a member of the negotiation team for the High Negotiations Committee of the Syrian Opposition. Basma Kodmani, do you unequivocally support what's been proposed out of Geneva? With much caution, we are uh, considering it with great interest and we are looking into the details of it. The HNC had not received the documents until this morning. Uh, today is when we hope to have all of the details of the agreement. What we look for is the enforcement mechanisms, um, effective enforcement mechanisms for it to be credible. When it is credible, then we can see positive dynamics on the ground. You hear skepticism from the ground, and I think this is fully justified. But I also think that what we need to see is if Russia is really determined to pressure the regime. It has the capacity to do so. Uh, it needs to have the political will to do so. And that is what we are watching. We will be watching carefully. But first, we need to know the exact content of this agreement and whether it is fair for the opposition to uh, comply with it, and that is uh, what will take place in the coming hours. What are the enforcement mechanisms your organization needs to hear? Because just to be clear about this, what you're talking about here is the bedrock of the proposal, the bedrock being that regime airstrikes have got to stop and they've got to stay stopped. Well, uh, precisely, we had a successful cessation of hostilities in February, which lasted a good 10 days. We could say it was respected for 10 days. The opposition fully complied. The opposition did not violate it. Breaches came from violations by the regime back then, and there was no, no uh, consequences to that. What we need to see today is what if the regime violates it? What is Russia willing to do? What kind of commitment is, in, is it making to the United States? And what guarantees will it give us if the regime violates? If this is up for violation with no consequences, it has no value. How can the groups That's on the ground organize themselves? That's not quite an answer themselves? to the question I was asking you. The question I was asking you was this. What do you want to see the Russians saying or doing? What do you want to see the Americans saying or doing? if there are violations, big violations, violations that nobody can really accept? If we want to be blunt, a, a violation by the regime should be met with a perhaps military response. That is what makes it credible, really. What is wrong with the concept of going after al-Nusra at some point say in a week or a month and then going after ISIL as well? Going after ISIL is clear for the opposition. ISIL is not part of the, of the, uh, the current situation and is fought, including by the Free Syrian Army. Uh, Concerning al Nusra, al Nusra was part of the Aleppo when Aleppo was under massive attack by the regime and Russia. The groups were forced to come together to prevent a siege of the city. Now, if we have the correct sequencing of events, meaning a cessation of hostilities first, a credible line of cessation of hostilities, I think we can look to the moderate groups to find that it is in their interest to dissociate themselves from the extremists. That is what needs to happen. But in the right sequencing, if we do not have a credible cessation of hostilities first, there is no chance that uh, it will be possible to have those groups uh, uh, differentiate themselves from uh, on the ground. The moderates know that the moment the hostilities stop, the extremist groups are marginalized, the population doesn't want them, doesn't want continuation of the fighting, and therefore they will be discredited and they will be marginalized. This is what we seek to see happen, a positive, positive dynamics as a result of a cessation of hostilities and protection of, of uh, people's lives. OK, when you use the word sequencing there, it occurs to me what we're basically saying or what we're highlighting here for our viewers is this. The way that the United States apparently is prepared to park awkward questions about who has really been doing what 
in Aleppo. Is that an equation of realpolitik that the HNC is prepared to buy into? Because if there is no now, if there is now no linkage between Al Nusra and Al Qaeda, why not go after Al Nusra anyway? Look, the plan is to is to have something on offer, and then you can vet groups. Those who comply, from our perspective, should be spared, should be protected. They comply, and they can be part of the future if they abide by our plan, which is we want a political process and a negotiated settlement. The groups that abide should be spared. The groups that don't will be considered as spoilers. We will not be stopping uh, that from happening. The spoilers are the ones that I think would be legitimate targets for uh, the United States and, and Russia. So, But that needs to happen in a fair way. It has never been the case so far, and our concern is that uh, Russia would define in ways uh, or accept definitions that the regime imposes and from the regime's perspective everyone is a terrorist out there so we need to move away from what the regime's definitions can be and we need to have a f definition in good faith of which are the groups who can be part of the future of Syria. Basma Kotmani, thank you very much for joining us there from Paris.